This is Monrovia, a village in southern Sri Lanka. This village was created to house the victims of the 2004 Asian tsunami. But the most interesting thing about this village is right over here. It's in among these bushes. It's this signboard. This signboard commemorates the construction of 100 houses in this area by none other than Galleon, the US-based hedge fund managed by Raj Rajaratnam, the man now at the center of an insider trading case in the US. In many ways, this village illustrates the ambivalence with which Mr. Rajaratnam is regarded in his home country of Sri Lanka. The people who live here are Sinhalese Buddhists. Mr. Rajaratnam is a Tamil. The government has accused him of financing the Tamil Tiger rebel group, charges that he denies. He has, in fact, funded charities that helped ethnic groups all over Sri Lanka, not just the Tamils, but also the Sinhalese here, and even Muslims in other parts of the country. In Sri Lanka's market, Mr. Rajaratnam is regarded almost as a titan. He's invested more than $100 million. He's moved different stocks, and on every, any given day, the index will go up and down, depending on his investments. But the great irony for him is that in this village, people barely know him. When we asked people who was Mr. Raj Rajaratnam, they said they didn't know. Some thought he was a cricketer. So for Mr. Rajaratnam, this case against him, when it finally plays itself out, what he will find out is who, in his homeland of Sri Lanka, he can really count on as a friend and who really are his enemies. This is Joe Lay, Monrovia, southern Sri Lanka, for the Financial Times.